Welcome to the FTA Cutoff on Astreal Air 2 Pro, the Beam, and the Asus ROG Ally. In a previous video, I mentioned the basic features of the Xreal Beam and the Xreal Air 2 Pro. But what happens if we connect both Xreal devices to the ROG Ally? To me, it's about reducing dizziness when playing video games. My setup, the Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses, or in fact, any Xreal Air glasses, Xreal Beam specific USB C cable, the adapter, the beam, and the power cable. Once all the items have been connected, all is left is to plug to the ROG Ally and then you should see immediately that the glasses are now working as a second screen. Also, you might see the beam as a flash drive from the Windows Explorer. The beam modes. I found particularly convenient the anchor and smooth follow modes. The side view mode was simply too small for gaming or even using Windows. Smooth follow. When enabling smooth follow, the screen will follow your head movement with some small delay. The size of the screen can be adjusted and will also rotate. While playing video games, this is particularly convenient if you are in a position in which your head is tilted. For example, you could have your head tilted 45 degrees and so will be the screen. Anchor. This mode will place the screen in a particular location and you could adjust the size. This is equivalent to a real-life monitor or TV. It won't rotate like it does in the smooth follow mode, but it will rather find the nearest horizontal position to where you were looking at before pressing the orange button on the beam. Side view. This mode won't allow you resizing of the screen, but rather will offer some small preview of the screen. You can move it and possibly it's useful to keep an eye on something temporarily. Issues with the beam and the ROG ally. Interference. As mentioned in a previous video, there's some small interference that can be noticed whenever there's a moderate movement of the cable that comes from the Air 2 Pro glasses. I check that the cable is properly connected but somehow, whenever there is a moderate movement, I can see it. My movements don't seem to cause that effect. The beam runs on battery. Despite being connected to the ASUS ROG Ally, given the limitations of the USB-C port, the beam will be using its own battery. This might be an issue if you want to play for extended periods of time, certainly. It would be nice if it could at least use power from the USB-C board rather than use power from the battery. But the reality is that so far I have seen that it can only charge when it's in standalone mode and not when it's been used as a second monitor. In terms of the battery usage, I observed 20% decrease after 1.5 hours of gameplay. Conclusion Is it worth playing games with a beam? If you're okay with the screen following you and rotating whenever you tilt your head, then you might be okay without a beam, as it mainly helps to stabilize, fix, resize, or move the screen away to a particular place. Now, if you don't mind using a product that might have some interference and also you feel a bit of dizziness because of the quick movements, then that's the perfect use case for the beam. You can place the screen in a particular place and there are also other nice use cases, but that's for another video. In my case, I found it useful when using the ROG Ally. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. 
and I hope you find some of this information useful. See you later.